Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Today I have another update on my Vendas and sadly they are not doing uh, well. They are not dying or something but they still are uh, hydrated, uh, dehydrated, I'm sorry, I wish they were hydrated. Uh, it's maybe a teeny tiny bit better but the roots are drying so so incredibly fast. Um, so I started using this stuff but it, it doesn't do the job uh, it doesn't hold on water uh, as l uh, long enough so I started watering them in a bucket with water again that's that's helping a bit I think but I need to interfere because this uh, this will not work long terms and so therefore I uh, did go uh, shopping and I found these beautiful big terracotta pots which I was after, but I didn't know if they had them in this size. Yes, of course they have them, but normally it's the uh, more uh, orange-brown color. And I personally like this gray-brown color a bit better. And um, But I found uh, at least four of them, and I will try them out. So what I will do is I basically put up my vendas in this. And uh, funny enough, I just saw today a video of Roger, where he was... Uh, putting up his Renatheras and using um, lava rock. I had basically a sort, sort of the same idea, only I use terracotta pots and he used his uh, plastic basket. And I also have some big pumice. So I will use it as a medium and then put my fingers up in these terracotta pots. And I hope that um, lava rock and the, terra, uh, the lava rock and the terracotta pot and also the pumice will hold on to the water a bit more and if I'm correct I never had um, that experience but it should be or they are saying that the terracotta pots also do wick so I have these uh, beautiful um, matching um, trays yes that's the word with them so I can uh, put a bit of water in there and I hope I think it should have more uh, water in or around uh, the roots so therefore I think they can hydrate better and if this is not working I will uh, put them back in a glass face because I had uh, really great successes with them in glass faces um, but the um, now I have them in a greenhouse where they do receive more lights quite a bit more light I had a lot of algae going on so that that is basically I think the biggest problem now that the algae is dry, I cannot get it off, but it's a sort of extra layer around the roots, and these are dry. Just water them, spray them very well this morning, but they are really, really dry. And it's almost like they cannot take up the water as they should because of the algae. I'm not sure at this point, but like I said, I have to interfere because I see them going um, backwards instead of going uh, forwards and uh, this one never skipped a blooming but you can see here that this this is completely uh, fading uh, aborting the spike so that's a big sign that I need to do it uh, as quickly as I can the leaves do kind of look okay but it's already telling me a story that this one is they are not happy so I uh, try to interfere as quickly as I can, so the damage is hopefully not too big. But that is what we're going to do today. Let's put some fandas. So before I start putting them up, I'm going to spray them quickly with my electric sprayer. So the roots, are, when they are wet, they are a little bit more bendable without the uh, breaking part. At least that is, that is uh, in my experience, uh, what uh, what. Uh, kind of works if you wet them, so that's what I'm going to do now. Sorry for the noise there. But this should make uh, putting them up a little bit easier. So what I did was I DIY'd a uh, wire here, a piece of wire. And uh, I did get this idea from uh, Rick Els. So I has, he has a uh, video on there how, uh, 
uh, where he has explained how I, uh, how he does <laughs> make these guys. But I, uh, and mine is not as pretty as his ones, but I hope they will uh, still do the job. So I have a little bit of a stabilizer basically in there for the van now. So let's uh, grab it in there and uh, try to put it up. This is my uh, Blue Magic, Van the Blue Magic, and uh, yeah, see it's uh, doing not so well, I must admit. The, um, this van had uh, quite an uh, infestation of spider mites, so they didn't do it any good. You can see it's sloppy leaves and I cannot get them to dehydrate, like I said, so yeah, I have to intervene. I know that I uh, most of the time say on my channel that let me grab that you don't uh, if you start to put them up like uh, like I explain uh, for example in my uh, uh, videos where I show you how I put my uh, orchids in cell watering that you don't need to uh, change the setup too quickly. But I know from experience when I need to interfere and this is this is not working so I really need to uh, do something about it but uh, if you uh, are trying something new you shouldn't change it too much but sometimes it just needs to be done like in this this case let me see if I have it correctly Positioned nice, nice, no, not necessarily correcting, but nice. <laughs> um, I think it's okay. Like this, so I tie it back up on, or, uh, onto this wire. And it's not only uh, getting the support from the wire, as you can see, so I think the wire is strong enough. And it, uh, the media around the roots will help it uh, stabilize even more. So, uh, so yeah, I think the wire is uh, doing its job. And no, I don't see any spider mites anymore. But like I said, this one suffered quite, quite, uh, quite much. Okay, now I have to place the media in. Oops, let's. And I will do this. Um, not too uh, too quick. Just uh, grabbing a few stones, like I said, pumice and a lava rock, and I'm just laying them in, almost one by one, because I don't want to break the roots. Oops. Because we have some growing root tips, so that's nice. I hope they will stay on. Maybe this is a little bit easier. Oops. beautiful thing of terracotta is that it's it's breeding and wicking so in winter I can uh, give them less water and in summer I used to yeah I think I can water them more I can spray them and the tray will hold on to the water even more even longer so I hope that will uh, save the problem like I said otherwise if I really have to I have to put them back in glass faces. I was quite successfully with them in glass faces, but the algae is so annoying. So I hope this setup will uh, work as well. And I like to spray them. And within glass faces it's a little bit harder to do that. Because the excess water of course cannot go out as easily as in these pots.
So I will continue doing this and I will speed up the video a little bit, otherwise it will take quite, quite long. So I think I'm ready and uh, I must admit I really like the look of it. So I really hope it works, I think it will, I have a feeling that it will work. That I really can nicely spray them, in summer give them more moisture so they can uh, rehydrate again. And uh, I, really like, I really like the look of it. And the nice thing is it's all inorganic, so with repotting uh, I will not have any problem because I think I don't have to repot them. Even the aerial roots may grow over the pot, I can wet them as well. And I have a beautiful base with hopefully filled with roots here so that architect can support itself uh, via those roots. So, uh, yeah, I am going to do another one. And here is my next one. It's a very big one. So I hope I can get it in the pot as good as I. I can. Um. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I think this will uh, um, be hopefully beneficial for the plant. That's uh, basically what I try to say. It has uh, it's making quite a lot of new new uh, roots, as you can see there. I keep those aerial, and we will see where they uh, will go. But I uh, managed to get in quite some uh, media. I wasn't expecting it because of the root system that it uh, that was already on there. But still, if you take your time, you can find places in between the roots and pull uh, a little bit the stones in and adjust a little bit and yeah it's doable but you don't need to be in a hurry <laughs> because uh, you will break roots otherwise but I think I did I, I think I did okay so this is the, the second one and here I have the third one I have four, four pots so I will do four now and I will uh, do a few later this week but uh, like I said, this is the uh, flower spike, it's going over, obviously. This one never skipped flowering, as you can see, it flowers, it likes to flower. So yeah. And it starts to uh, hydrate again, but not as much as I like, because I s kept spraying them two or three times a day. But I don't uh, have the time to do that as often. But, uh, so therefore, uh, yeah, I need to do something. And also, this one is already, I think, um, that uh, could put in uh, the media quite easily because this one had uh, the most of the roots on the front, so I could get uh, uh, media in from the front and back, basically from here. And uh, yeah, again, and I really like the look of it. So let's uh, grab another one. It's the fourth one for now, and then 
I will uh, stop for the day. And the last one that I'm going to show is this one. One of my, <coughs> sorry, my biggest fandas. And it has quite a lot of keikis on. Maybe we can count them while we have it here. Um, I see one here. That's one, two. On this side, one, two. Small one there is three. So I see three keikis on this one. But we do have more. <laughs> three. This is four. This is in the back one, four. Five, six, seven, seven there, seven there. I'm sorry, here it's tangled up. You can see that leaf. Seven, that's number eight, and then we have a small one here next to my finger. You can see the leaves now, I think. It's number nine, and I believe that one was running off. Yeah, well, let's say this one has now nine. One is, uh, was rotting off. You can see here the dead leaves. I can now take them off. I think that was one cake as well. Yeah, that one is completely gone. So I had ten, I now have one. When I watered it, I had uh, water in this cake for too long. But it was so unruly and, and hard to uh, water. But uh, yeah, it still has nine cakes on. So this one needs water. But these roots are so dry. So hopefully let's change that forever. <laughs> In a good way. Not too wet. Obviously. But first we need to find a nice position in this pot. Slowly, because I don't want to damage the roots. So, I think this is it uh, for now. I will uh, put this one with the others and we have an uh, overview of all of them. So, and then we have all four of them. And to be honest, I really like the look of it. I never thought it, I would, but I am so happy that I found the terracotta pot suiting for them. And you see, I like that really rough texture there of the media. A lot of air is coming in. And I think enough moisture to get them back going again. I really, really do. I really have a good feeling about it. <laughs> but we have to wait. You never know, right? But I don't know what it is. It feels very right doing this. I need to cut off this old root. Early, like I said, I really like stones. So I love the, yeah, basically the texture in a pot, pot now. The look of it. This one is quite heavy, so it's a bit angled in a pot. Maybe I can adjust it uh, later. I, I would like uh, prefer to have it a little bit uh, more straight up, but at least it's in a pot now. And that one, this one, and that one were my biggest vendors. So I'm happy that they uh, did find a place in a pot. I will buy two pots for these new ones as well, and I have one soaking in a bucket so I need that's three pots and I must admit I have a ordered a Noravenda so I need uh, at least four new uh, terracotta pots uh, again but yeah like I said and now I need to find another setup I think I will go with these uh, same uh, setups uh, again from IKEA the shelves same shelves that I originally had here but then I tried uh, to hang them, I like the feel of it, but the look of it, but it doesn't work. So uh, I will put them back and uh, find a beautiful place for them again. 
and still I can spray them and that's what I really love with the setup so I can water them more often if I like terracotta is also wicking the pumice and the leca uh, I'm sorry the pum pumice and the lava rocks are as well plus I can create a little bit of uh, extra water for during the day with that fitting tray underneath them so uh, yeah I think this uh, this could be my uh, favorite way of growing vendors could be we shall see and the nice thing is that my little telumnias hanging there in the back are quite similar and it's quite similar setup but those are obviously in very teeny tiny terracotta pots and they have the same coral color yeah they sold us the same they look a little bit darker I must admit but okay but I like the look of that so uh, I don't like uh, many different colors of pots so I have a lot of black and gray and now I have beautiful same colored terracotta pots so yeah this is it for now I will uh, do another uh, update soon and I hope I have then some good news and the good news in this case obviously is that they start to hydrate again that I can see it on leaves probably make some new spikes but first at least uh, start hydrating and don't forget obviously that they need to grow on those roots start new roots that's the most important parts but for now thank you for watching and I hope to see you at net, uh, uh, next video and um, hopefully on this uh, update that will be in uh, uh, probably a few weeks thank you for now bye bye